first day of the month shall ye have a, a Shabbat, a memorial of blowing of trumpets and holy convocation. You shall do no Shabbat work there you, but you shall often, often pray by fire. You know about, about Memorial Day in May? You know, let's celebrate it. And they have, they have um, fireworks and, and a lot of people have cookouts and, and they celebrate that day. You remember that Memorial Day, baby? Did you ever celebrate it? Did you ever have a cookout? Fourth of July. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Memorial Day, they, what do you think they, oh, let me ask Shalom. Shalom, <laughs> what were they celebrating on Memorial Day? What great things happened? make them want to celebrate Memorial Day. Can you remember? We didn't raise them on the worldly. Oh, uh, oh okay, I can remember that. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you know, I can't, I wasn't born in it. Right. So I, I would remember. And I was, and still today, uh, I don't want to celebrate, but I do, I do know, you know, people have two passes and stuff. The reason why I'm bringing out Memorial Day, because we just read where it said, uh, this is, shall be a Sabbath, a memorial of Donald Trump. Memorial is something that you want to remember. And so they remembered the servicemen that did give their life and good things for the nation. But what did Yahshua do? And what did Yahweh do? We Yahshua have, and Yahweh have a whole lot of memorial days. He don't just have one. But he gave Moses the feast days. And they are memorials. That's right. And there's something that Yahweh wants us to remember. That's because right. he did a great thing. Yes. And then Yahshua came on the scene and he died. How great is that? And the memorial to be remembered. So Jesse, I want you to remember this day. is a feast of trumpets. And it's a memorial to remember what Yahweh did for the children of Israel. And he don't want us to forget it. He wants us to teach it to our children. So that's what we're supposed to do. That's why we're here today. We're celebrating and we're supposed to teach it to our children that they will know the history of what y'all report. Put it to these children. Uh, Shalom. How many years were they in the wilderness, the children of Israel? I don't know. You don't know, huh? <laughs> All right. Sharon. How many years were they the, the children of Israel in the wilderness? Okay, 40 years. Isn't that a long time? Mm -hmm. And do you know what the world looks like? It's not fine, fancy homes. No. It's not beautiful trees and lawns. Not beautiful flowers. That's right. It's none of that. Right. But it's like open field. Mm -hmm. You might find a tree every now and then. Yes. And it's cold in the, in the night and hot. It's a man that is to go back, whether you live in big houses or what. But during that time, he wants you to go back to those kind of primitive kind of living yeah. in temporary booths. You know, and somebody told me that these some of the temporary booths, you know, when they lived out in the wilderness, that you know you could look between yeah. the cracks yeah. and you can see the stars, you know, yeah. and you kind of feel the elements of things coming oh, yeah. in and things ain't so wonderful, you know, right. but you understand how great Yah is. You, you know, and this is what Yah he said that I, I, I command that you do these things that your children will remember right. where I brought you from. Right. He wants us to remember because we are people that are easily able to forget things. Uh -huh. We are in the Sabbath month. Yeah. Hallelujah. Last night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The number seven is spiritual perfection. All right. Completeness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Trumpet! All right. Yes. All right. The seven alphabets, seven letters. The menorah! Seven! Hallelujah! Okay, I'm, I'm going to pray for a little Hebrew. Some words in English, I cannot pronounce that well, but that's okay. If I can't pronounce, I'm going to spell. But Hebrew, day is young. Y O M. That's H3117. Found it in Leviticus 23:21, and the day ends and the new day begins when the sun set in the west over the Mediterranean Sea. Mm. And we all know, basic Israel, Hallelujah. Okay, then I went and broke down day. Okay, 
today is the yard. Yeah. Arm. Yes. And hand. Work and deed. Yes. Bye. It's up time. Thank you. <laughs> That's the nail, the peg, and. Okay, let me go back up to the yard, which is the arm. Yes. And you make deeds and create. Isn't a father so wonderful? One just laid it all out there for us in yes. the beginning. And also, while I'm talking, I forgot this, which is very important. Genesis 1 and 14. See how this is bringing us through all the feasts and just through everything. When you get a chance, read Genesis 1 and 14. Okay, going back to day, Mim, which is here, and Mim is water I and life. <laughs> and this uh, poem came to mind, and it said, Be my mouthpiece. And it's this type of, Be bold and courageous. Do not compromise and be weak. Do not be proud or lofty, but be humble and meek. For these are the servants that I seek. My words in their mouth, they shall speak. That's it. Thank you. It just, it just permeated my spirit. I was just thinking, Father, what do you want me to encourage the people? Because I'm, I'm an encourager. See, you know, some people have a gift of doing other things. I love to encourage people. I believe that if people can be encouraged, they won't. Right. That's right. right. <laughs> you don't like me, though. <laughs> you know, and kids, they like... You know, I, I just think about how kids, uh, oh, you know, Brother Meekins, I love his family. I haven't even oh, met them yet, but every time I'm on the phone with him, daddy, 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 daddy. <laughs> you know, the kids, one kid wants the attention, the other kids want the attention. Daddy, daddy. I mean, and, you know, are we like that with the father? Are we, are we want all the attention. I mean, are we, are we kind of on this? Hallelujah. <laughs> You know, I want to get on daddy's nerves. You know yeah. what I mean? You know, he should get on my nerves. But I want to get on his nerves. And when I was just thinking about all this love that was given today from the Father today, just to mm -hmm. his people, what came to mind is what is all this about? What is this about? The kingdom. About the kingdom. Mm -hmm. the That's right. And what is the kingdom? I mean, I ask, you, know, you, you don't hear something that's disturbing. I ask. Believers, what is the kingdom? Mm -hmm. Give me an answer. Somebody. Love, what is the kingdom? Love, joy, joy peace. My righteousness and the spirit. I'm here to tell you. What is it again, sister? Joy, peace, love. righteousness, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, let's go to Romans 14. Hallelujah. I think it's 17. We'll read there. Kings that y'all sent didn't necessarily fail. They done their part, but they were still Mary men. Mm -hmm. This king is not going to fail. This king can't fail because he's in right. power. That's right. Yeah, power. That's right. Yeah. Hallelujah. And we will be empowered with the same. That's yeah. right. If we make it. Mm -hmm. okay. If we make it. And saying that, when we came out of the slavery, the bondage of Egypt, and we began to walk across the, the desert or, or the wilderness. For those 40 years, we didn't have to do this. But because of our hard-headedness and stiff neck, mm -hmm. we, were, we were done. This was had to be done. And we were being refined. Also, the rebellious destroyed. The children went into the promised land. That's right. Our new promised land is the kingdom of Yah. That's right. And we are walking through yeah. the wilderness again. Yeah. Who will make it? Mm -hmm. Who will make it? I pray all will. Yeah. I pray all will. Everybody sitting in this room, I pray to see you. 